this is Serial Cleaners. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So what is this? Well, we uh, we clean up the scenes. So yeah, what are we getting here on Series X? Well, it's a 4K resolution with 60 FPS plus. That's right. I know it goes above and beyond. So yeah, your job is to essentially clean up the leftover scenes. It's a top-down stealth game where you get to experience being a murder scene cleaner for the mob in the 90s in New York. Get rid of bodies, make places spotless, and don't get caught. Plan every step and move like a ghost or trust your reflexes and thrive in chaos. The choice is yours. Do I just like, I just like drop this dude somewhere? Should we put him on the table over here? Crouching, okay, now we get to crouch. What incredible technology. Although, I think we gotta, we're supposed to carry the body here, aren't we? Or is this just so I can open the second half of the door? Oh, okay, well, he, he got through somehow, okay. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So alternate between four characters, each with unique skills, and set up new cleaning possibilities. So yeah, it's inspired by cult 90s movies, full of weird grime, I don't know, delicate maneuvering, and serial killing. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, pal, but the mess you always make down here, it doesn't magically clean itself up. Ooh. Just get the hell out of here, Hal. Do something useful and get the oven heated. The poor old guy is just trying his best. Really take off the shoes in this place? So now you gotta. She she vacuums the blood. You just get like a big vacuum cleaner. Oh, this is comical. Let's make sure this place is spotless. Vacuum the blood. That kills me. Uh. Do we get it all? feel like we didn't get it all. Man, there's a lot of blood. Bless this mess. This is hilarious. I'm, I'm just like literally sitting here vacuum cleaning blood. I, I don't think that's how you get blood out, but you know, the fact that this is a thing is absolutely just hilarious to me. Yo, homegirl, what's keeping you? The usual. The big boy walked in and made a big mess again. I hate when that happens. I loved him and paid dearly for him. Need some help? It's mud, not the red stuff. Just don't spread it further is all I ask for. Besides, I'll be there in a sec. Better put some music on before the guys do. Hmm. Back to the office, let's go. See, we're learning about the different characters and the tasks they feel. Right. Party time. I don't want to turn on the jukebox. Which kind of makes me feel like I might as well just crank down that music volume, because that's always the thing that happens. Such a drag. F off. I happen to like this band. They embody the sound of the decade. Like dial up modem noises mixed with ice skating on a chalkboard. Nah. Ice skating on chalk? At least it's not so Okay. This is kind of a quirky, weird sort of thing. Finish party preparations. Right, let's reminisce from the start. Mitch Milton. Touchy subject, kid. Mitch is still warm, and so are my memories of the fucker. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, Bob. 
You know that brain thing Look, there's like a little skeleton oh, ghost and brain thing at the bottom. That's delightful. Well, my horribly offline friend, hearing is said to be the last thing to go. So, Mitch Milton might still appreciate a good word or two, you know? Yeah, that's just a fat lie meant to play on my good old Catholic guilt, isn't it? Scientific speculation. Catholic guilt? I don't think you can be in this business. <laughs> Open the door and, and shelf at Milton's remains. Okay. I mean, that's probably a good way to get it down. Yo, Mitch. The kids want to listen about the good old times. So, 1990. A crooked lawyer's call. A cereal cleaner parting a Red Sea like Moses. Vamos. Flashback. F -f 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 flashback. Let's go back to a simpler time. He looks the same. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. You know, sometimes they come, they do hits, and you know, the least they could do is clean up or tidy up a bit before we have to come in here and do our job. Then again, I guess we get paid well to do the things we do. Cereal cleaners. It's cleaning time. Oh. It's clean in time. <laughs> it's clean in time. <laughs> Sorry, that just kills me. Okay, uh, where do we dispose of this? Really? You think they're gonna, you know, notice all the, the blood and stuff? So now we need to somehow get out of here without the cops noticing us. Hold RB to slide across the blood. Okay. Is that like a rat chasing us? Is he gonna like turn around? Alright, okay, well, as long as he's completely unobservant, I will just drag this body out of here. Can I, like, walk right by them and he won't notice, or what? I guess maybe I gotta use stealth. This is a stealth game. Doesn't hear the door open. Actually, can I, uh, straight up just lock that dude in? Oh, okay. Well, this is really easy going. So this is big evidence, eh? Can't we just, like, throw it off the roof? What? No, I can't throw it off, okay. I love how completely unobservant this cop is. And this other dude's just like locked in this room. I mean, he'll definitely know what I look like, so that should technically be an issue, but you know. Is it more professional if I wrap them up before throwing them down to the disposal area? Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
the one dude that can do anything about it is uh, kind of stuck, and the other dude could not give a damn less. He's just enjoying the the view outside the uh, the window. Though this guy's like, all the evidence is big. Take it away. All right, let's let's vacuum this up. Because somehow a vacuum can deal with absolute gobs of blood. I, I just I don't think the vacuum has that capability, to be honest. But what do I know? I'm not a vacuum expert. I have like a Dyson, but you know. It's like we were never here. Some extra little bits of blood to clean up. Okay, we're probably not going to be able to get all the blood though, because like... We made a getaway! The cop disappeared too! We are stealth. I am the serial cleaner. Da da da! Cereal clean it back in the day. A new broom sweeps clean. And I didn't get busted. I always appreciate rounds of applause for my incredible actions. It's been ten years since I got back to working with corpses full time. And I still can't believe that three walking dead men became my friends. Dead men often better friends. Can't stab you in the back. Ain't that true? Mm -hmm. Want to tell us about your baggage now or later, big man? Come on now. We're all a civilized bunch. Participation is, of course, voluntary. Although, I'd urge you to rise to the occasion. Anyway. Yeah, let's see what Viper's got. FYI, my story was a little different. Bob wasn't saving my ass. We met as equals. As equals? Huh. An aspiring mentor taken aback by a promising young rookie and her elite skillage. Elite skillage? Huh. Can your aggressiveness be a little less passive? You, you ancient llama? <laughs> what? Well, why don't you simply tell us how you remember it, sweetheart? It's kind of told like a flash. That's actually a really interesting way to frame a story of this type. I keep forgetting the loading is so fast. If all the info I've intercepted is correct, his target tonight is this morgue. Easy. Imagine the look on his face if I actually pull this off. And if I don't, should get out of it with only a slap on the wrist. This is your casting call, girl. Your audition tape, your one-time chance to impress. Once a New York rave queen, now a master hacker. Rave queen into hacker? A okay. Fixer. Don't suppose I could just open the door, can I? Sometimes the best hacking is done in person. Not even has a little picture of her at the bottom doing the vent stuff. Cool. Oh, the door is locked. Okay. We gotta be more sneaky, I guess. Good thing there's large people-sized vents.
Good thing that dude did not notice me at all, somehow. This will be a good getaway exit if we need to. Hmm. It's all about stealth and serial cleaning. Come on, dude, get out of here. It's not the brightest, though. Let's get in here and let's do this. Oh, this door was just open? You didn't even need a key for it? To ID my targets. Where is the local database? Oh, this thing? There we go, we got it. Mad skills. Didn't realize it'd be so easy. Literally, could just walked right in here. Don't I have the right key? Or oh, the key's in that room. Okay, so how are you supposed to get in? Oh, okay, so when he's gone, then you can go and do that, right? All right, let's go get this evidence while well, it's easy. Uh-oh. Okay, looks like he's not paying attention, but yet again, I forgot I don't have the right lock for that particular door. You think he can hear me rumbling around in the vents? Looks like that is not the case. Where you going? I wanted that key though. Can't literally be that dumb. Haha. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid AI. Uh oh. This just got complicated. Okay, where do I get rid of the body? And the cops are here. Feels like a, a big stealth job to get this all done. I don't suppose this gate's now open for me, is, is it? I thought I clicked the open thing on the gate. Okay. Yeah, because I guess there's no no harm in being in this area, is there? <laughs> 